Attention, minimum wage workers. Does $15 an hour sound good to you? Well, for many folks in SeaTac, Washington, it does, and it could become a reality soon. NBC5's Christine Pinawanich has more on the controversial proposal. Christine. Natalie, Craig, you know, there's a lot of debate about it up in Washington state, but with the rallies that broke out this past summer where fast food workers demanded more pay, the minimum wage debate has definitely gained ground across the U.S., and people are talking about it right here in Southern Oregon. Meet Michael Hayes. Uh, I make about minimum wage, like, what is it, eight ninety-five an hour? He's like many people who work a minimum wage gig, sometimes struggling to make ends meet. I know if I was getting $15 an hour, I'd be really happy. Raising the minimum wage to $15 is exactly what some people are trying to do up in SeaTac, Washington. And it looks like it's gaining traction, reportedly, with both mayoral candidates there in support of the rate hike. But what if a proposal like that made it to Oregon? If you were to go from 10 to $15 an hour in one fell swoop uh, in a short run, that in one year or two year period, I think it would have a significant you know, impact on small business. Ann Wilton, owner of Renaissance Rose in Ashland, agrees. Even at $9 an hour, she struggles to keep up. <laughs> the outlook would be even more bleak if the minimum wage skyrocketed. We couldn't handle it at 15. We just couldn't handle it. We, that would put us out of business. And according to Professor Kennard at SOU, the cost would ultimately be paid for by the consumer. If you're a restaurant, you're not just going to absorb that kind of a wage increase. You're going to pass that along to your customers. But for Hayes, who works hard for his money. God, I would love for it to go up. A little more cash would mean more money that he could spend in the local economy. Now, according to the professor we spoke with, if we calculated inflation rates all the way back from 1965, Oregonians should be making closer to $17 or $18 an hour to be keeping up. Unfortunately, that doesn't look like it will be happening anytime soon. Live in the studio, Christine Pitawanich, NBC5 News.